Hello, everybody, and welcome to today's Great Garment Graphics webinar presented by Transfer Express. My name is Andy Curtis. I am a dealer service rep here at Transfer Express, and straight off the bat, I'd like to ask everyone to bear with me today. <laughs> We're having some technical issues here right at the very beginning of the webinar. We should be we should be good now. So I apologize for the late start, and um, we should be should be straight straight uh, forward here. Uh, <laughs> full speed ahead. So um, welcome everybody again. Uh, today's webinar is how to win spring sports orders with decorating. We're going to go over some of the basics for uh, league orders and for how to handle spring sports, so baseball especially. I know it's the American pastime and it's about time that it starts to get up and moving again. I know everybody's uh, eagerly anticipating and ordering and it's already starting to get into swing. So tis the season, huh? Um, before we actually get started with the webinar, though, I do have a poll question I would like to present to everybody just right off the bat, and this is just going to help give me an idea of uh, a little bit about you guys out in the audience today so I know who I'm talking to. Uh, so, Jody, if you're there, if you would run the first poll question for us. Yes, thank you so much, everyone, for joining us today for How to Win um, Spring Sports Orders. And our first poll question is, what percentage of your business is team sales? And please select one of the options. And like I said, this will just give me an idea of uh, who all you guys are and who, who we're talking to today, so we know what, uh, know what exactly what we're dealing with. So here we go. Um, it looks like almost the most is 10 to 49 percent. And then we have a second okay. poll. Yeah, if you want to go ahead and run that second poll, too, this will uh, help us get to know you a little bit more. Okay. Um, it looks like that was the last of the poll questions, Andy. Sorry about that. Okay, all right. That's okay, Jody, no problem. All right, guys, so without any further ado, let's talk about winning spring sports orders, huh? Um, the first way to win a spring sports order is simply ideas. Ideas sell. Um, that's, that's just the point blank way to put it. And um, if you can show your customers what you're capable of in terms of sports related designs, sporting goods related things, then um, that's, that's the first, the first step. Um, our idea book here at Transfer Express has over 10,000 choices for artwork, for layouts, for combinations of things you can put together to show a customer what type of baseball designs, or, or any spring sport baseball just being sort of the big one around here in uh, Mentor, Ohio. Um, but uh, ideas sell, and the more you can show your customers what you can do, the better chance you have of winning their bids, winning their, their orders. Um, so the idea is for you to take the idea book to show them the baseball designs you're capable of and win the sale, earn your profits that way. Uh, the example that you're seeing here too, uh, this is one of our layouts. Now you see on the left hand side here, the layout started off as actually a basketball design. Layout QBK-180, this is a basketball design that's brand new this year that uh, we're very proud to have had uh, Dane Clement of Great Dane Graphics do the artwork on. Um, Dane provided us with a whole bunch of really swanky layouts this year, and this is an example of one of them, but you can see that somebody got creative and ditched the basketball player, changed the word basketball to baseball, and suddenly instead of Compton basketball, you've got Allen baseball. So sort of a clever way of taking a neat looking design that's uh, sort of neat to begin with and adjusting it to be what you want. So essentially you don't even have to use the baseball section of the Transfer Express idea book. You can use any layout you want, uh, any sport, any layout. You can change it, you can edit the clip arts, change the text, and you make it what you want for your customer. So um, that's the whole point of the idea book. And that's, that's the first way to secure yourself that spring sports order is to show your customer the myriad of things that you're capable of using the Transfer Express idea book. Now, other than the idea book, there are several other tools, and we're going to pop out to our website a couple times during the webinar today so I can show you exactly what, uh, exactly what I'm talking about. Um, the idea book is shown here in the top left corner, um, and this year the idea book is in a binder format for those of you who have your idea books and uh, received your 
binders this year. We would love to hear your feedback on these binders. If you have any opinions, please feel free to let us know how you feel about the new binder format. Um, otherwise, uh, this is this year's idea book. And other tools that you can use to impress your customer and to win your spring sports bids, one of them is the Easy View Online Proof. Now the screenshot you're seeing at the top of my screen here is showing you an example of a soccer league. Now the whole concept of the Easy View Online Proof is that you start with the layout that you've chosen from our website. Once you click on that layout, the website allows you to enter new text, new clip art, enter colors, and you can actually change up the design right there on the spot and show it to your customer live right there. So it's a great tool for you and your customer to sit there and play around with designs and to figure out what they want. Uh, a fantastic tool. Um, and then, of course, at the bottom of our screen here, this is a popular concept for some of our customers, too. Um, we create generic take-home catalogs. Now, it's the same thing as the regular idea book, except it's not in a binder format. It's just a glue-bound black and white book. But the idea here is you can buy packs of these generic take-home catalogs, and you can hand them out to your customers. See in the picture here, um, the idea book, the uh, generic idea books, do not have the name Transfer Express on there. It doesn't say anything about us, so you're safe to take those books. Maybe you uh, slap a sticker on the cover with your company name or, or not. You give these to your customer, and because there's no mention of us, they come back to you for the order. So it's sort of building on what we talked about from that first slide. You use the idea book and the concepts and the clip arts and all the stuff in there to get their creative juices going. That helps, realize, uh, helps them realize all that they're capable of doing through you using that idea book. Another fantastic tool we offer to help you secure those spring sports are online printable flyers. Now, we'll pop out to the website in just a split second here so we can talk about these and I can show you exactly what I mean. But these online flyers are another fantastic tool for you to spread the word, to get your name out, to do some advertising. Um, and what you're looking at here, we, we offer a series of uh, pre-made flyers or customizable flyers that you can print on your computer at home. You simply uh, cut the Transfer Express off the bottom of them if, it, if there uh, is Transfer Express on the bottom. Some of them are uh, left completely generic. But, um, and then you simply hand them out to customers or you hand them out to the coaches involved or the schools involved, whomever you're doing the spring sports through. These flyers are, are a great opportunity and totally free of charge, mind you, for you to get your name out there and for you to show the customers what you can do. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pop out to our website and I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. So here I am at transferexpress.com. This is our home page. I'm going to, on this top red bar here, this uh, toolbar that goes across the top of the screen, I'm going to come all the way over and go to Help and Education. And I'm going to click there on Help and Education. Now, on this Help and Education page, I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom section that says Helpful Tools. And the very, very bottom link on that page says Sales Flyers. Now, I could have also found that by using the search function at the top of my uh, home page, just typing Sales Flyers in there. But I'm going to click on Sales Flyers. And I'm going to scroll down a little bit, and here are the flyers that we're talking about. Now, again, there's options for each of these. Uh, you'll notice that some of them, uh, for example, this one in the middle we're looking at here with the young man that says uh, All Stars on his jersey. You'll notice that we offer you a JPEG, a PDF, and then a PDF blank layout. Now, the difference is these JPEGs and PDFs, those feature flyers that are already pre-made with all these designs that you see on them. The blank version of this flyer, however, has all these empty boxes where you could create your own designs in Easy View and pop them into these empty boxes that exist in that, that uh, blank flyer. So you can choose to either use the flyer that we've pre-made, or you can just use the template and pop your own designs into it. Now, the idea here is that if you're bidding on baseball orders, these uh, top two that we're looking at here being baseball, it's simple to just print out this flyer off your computer. And uh, the one at the top left here does have Transfer Express at the bottom. 
and then by handing this flyer out to the different coaches or perhaps schools you're working with, you're showing them what designs you can do and the uh, uh, you can do for them. I don't know if you can see it, but at the bottom of this uh, at the bottom of this flyer, we've actually got a picture of a baseball helmet, which is advertising our non-apparel products, which we'll uh, talk about a little bit later in the webinar. But um, Point being, these, these flyers are a fantastic opportunity for you to show your customers what you do. Now, you can even go so far as to take a sticker with your name on them, your company name, and slap them at the bottom or at the top of these flyers, too, so you've not only got the name on it. Um, again, a great opportunity for you guys to do some advertising, to get your name out there, to show coaches and schools what you can do. And again, totally free. Uh, I, you didn't see me have to log into anything or to have to pay for anything. This uh, screen is right here. It's just downloadable straight from here. Another flyer that uh, is on that same website, uh, and I'll pop back out there and show you again in just a moment. Another flyer that you can uh, that you can do is the whole uh, school fundraiser concept or school spirit sale concept. Um, this is a similar flyer to the ones that I was showing. Uh, this flyer is designed to help you promote a school spirit sale. Now the idea here being that you create two different designs, like you see here the Westwood type. The uh, football team is having a fundraiser in this example, and we've created a flyer with two different football designs for the Westwood Tigers, uh, both one color, this one on the left is uh, one color white, this one on the right hand side is one color orange. So just two simple designs, and what we're advertising is they can get a T-shirt with either design for twelve bucks, or a hoodie with either design for twenty bucks. Now, the way you engineer this with your school or uh, whichever uh, customer you're working with, generally a high school, the way you engineer this is you tell the high school that by doing the spirit sale, you're going to donate a percentage of every T-shirt shown, rather, to the football program. In this example, again, we're talking about. Westwood football in this example. So we would say that we're going to donate a certain percentage of every t-shirt and every hoodie sold to the Westwood football program. That way you're making a, a piece of the profit, they're making a piece of the profit. Um, so this flyer is also available in a blank format. It obviously it doesn't say Westwood on it, but I'm going to pop back out to our website here. Now on the same page that you find these other flyers that we were just talking about a moment ago, at the very top of that page, here's that example that we were discussing, the Westwood football. Now, again, the uh, downloads aren't actually going to say Westwood football fundraiser, but you get the idea. Um, these are the blank versions we offer, uh, Word docs, Corel draw files, Adobe Illustrator, Publisher, whatever you're working with, you can get, uh, get this flyer in a fashion that uh, you can customize. So again, this is a great idea, and uh, we call them spirit sale flyers. That was the original concept, but they can be used for more than just spirit. Uh, again, it's football, sporting goods, whatever you whatever you can come up with. So another fantastic opportunity. If you simply print out one of these flyers, customize it, take it up to the school, and show the school's athletic director, let's say, here's an idea that I have. Here's something I can do for you. That's immediate advertising that shows them that you're uh, prepared to help them and you've already came up with these designs. Again, the way you come up with these designs is simply by our website. Simply by using our Easy View tool, you log into the website and you can customize these designs yourself. So another, another fantastic way, again, point is you can tie all of this into the spring sports that are happening right now. You can tie all of this together and, and this is another great way to show your customer what you can do, another great way to secure those, those spring sports orders. Now another great tool, and we'll pop out to this website in just a moment, another great tool that we offer you, let's say you don't, uh, don't want to spend the money on buying our blank take-home catalogs, our generic take-home catalogs that we mentioned a moment ago. Let's say that uh, you don't have the money for that or you, you, you can't afford to do that, um, but you still want to show your customer what you're capable of. We offer you another tool, a separate website, not transferexpress.com, but a separate website called easyprints.com. 
Now, it's the same concept. EasyPrints.com is a generic website that does not say Transfer Express on it anywhere. It's free of charge. You can send your customers to this website, EasyPrints.com. They can browse all of our designs, all of our clip arts, all of our fonts, everything. And then they have to come back to you to order because it doesn't say anything about Transfer Express. They can't order from us from this website. So let's pop out there here. And uh, I'm going to open up another window here, and we're going to go to www.easyprints.com. There we have it. So again, you're going to notice you can go through this website with a fine-tooth comb. Uh, we have customers who are technical sometimes. They go through every page, terms of use, everything. You're not going to find Transfer Express mentioned anywhere on this website. So again, your customer can simply uh, click on the cover of the idea book here, or we've got links at the top of the screen where they can begin to browse layouts. They can begin to browse clip arts. So simply click out here to the layout section under play. Here we go. Here's baseball, and boom, layouts, and your customer can immediately start browsing. And this again, like we just talked about a minute ago, this is how you secure orders because simply by showing them page upon page of these different baseball designs. This is going to give your customer ideas. This is what's going to endear you to them. They're going to come back to you because they see that cool design and go, oh my god, that's exactly what we're looking for for the or our high school or whomever exactly you're talking to. So let's get into leagues just a little bit more because that's definitely a big part. Now I know we had that uh, poll at the beginning and I know that the majority of you all listening today um, don't do a lot of your business with the team sales. So let's talk a little bit about teams and leagues and all that good stuff. Um, number one, with league bids, what people don't often realize, when you're trying to win a league bid, you're going to need to lower your profit margin just a little bit because you're competing with a whole bunch of other different people. Now, I'm sure we all realize that, but um, by lowering your profit margin a little bit, you're going to secure that bid to that league. And remember that that one league order isn't going to be the thing that makes or breaks your, your business, but that's the thing that can lead you into more opportunities. And not just with that league, but with the parents that worked with that league, the parents of the, the kids who played for that league, and the coaches who help with that league. You're, if you win that bid, by lowering your profit margin just a little bit, you're going to put your foot in the door for a lot more opportunities with these people down the road. And again, we're talking about a whole bunch of people, not just the league officials themselves, but all the coaches, all the parents. You're going to get your name out there. Okay, So there are times when you do have to sort of dial down the profit margin just a tad, but that's sort of the name of the game here. Okay. Here's another tip for leagues. Um, on the left-hand side, you see a little boy, uh, actually the same little boy here on both pictures, but on the left side, you see a little boy who's got a baseball t-shirt that simply just says Mario's Pizza. Now, the problem with this is that, again, it's, it's cheap to do it this way, where you just have name strips on each jersey front. But the problem is that's not interesting, that's not endearing you to anybody just by doing these simple name strips. So instead, why not come up with the design that the kids love and that sticks out? Like if you, again, if you look at the same kid on the right hand side, uh, the design definitely pops out at you. You still see the Mario's Pizza, you still see the sponsor themselves, but there's a lot more going on. These are going to be shirts that endear you to these people. These are going to be shirts that get people's attention and will make them remember who you are. So um, in addition to that, if you show your customer designs like this, they're going to be a lot more likely to go with you as opposed to plain name strips like this. And uh, in the next few slides, we're going to talk about how this is feasible and how you can do that. So let's talk about that. Let's talk about how you can feasibly do these different designs and uh, how to keep the costs low. Because I know everyone's first reaction is, well, yeah, I'd love to do those cool designs, but it's expensive. So let's, let's talk about how you can do that. First of all, the first step is to choose a design that your customer wants to do. Choose a design, go through the idea book, go through Easy View, just like we talked about a couple minutes ago. Go through everything and find that design that catches people's eye. 
And again, this year we have all those new Dane Clement designs from Great Dane Graphics. They're all very swanky. They look great. So uh, they're incredibly popular thus far. And there's two examples that you're looking at on this page. Um, using this uh, East Bay soccer that we're looking at in the orange as an example, they chose this East Bay soccer. Okay? If there's 500 kids in that league, get all 500 kids the same front with East Bay soccer on the top left and your soccer design in the middle. Uh, ignore Mario's Pizza for a moment here because that's step two. If you simply order the same generic design for all 500 kids, they'll only be 70 cents a piece. Then what you do is step two, you order the sponsors as a separate gang sheet order. In this example, we've got Mario's Pizza. You simply use the same font as you did for East Bay Soccer and do a whole page of sponsors. Mario's Pizza, ABC Screen Printing, Revco Drugstore, etc. You load all those sponsors up onto a sheet and then you, uh, for example, you'll press your East Bay Soccer transfer first, then cut your Mario's Pizza, um, cut your Mario's Pizza strip off of that gang sheet, tilt it the same angle that you see the East Bay Soccer at, and press it underneath. So now what you've done by ordering those 500 East Bay Soccers generic like that, you've spent 70 cents per piece for those 500, and then by ordering the sponsor sheets, those can be as low as 35 cents per uniform. Now again, in this example, we're talking about 500 kids, and we're talking about one-inch sponsors. Every situation is going to be a little bit different, and your league might have a different idea, different sizes, different amount of kids, but uh, again, this is just one example of what you can do and how cheaply you can pump out some really cool looking jerseys like you see here. When you do your sponsors, when you're worried about uh, taking care of your Mario's Pizza and your Revco Drugstore and ABC Screen Printing, when you're working out those sponsors, number one, make sure to sort them out by ink color. Okay? One of the things, one of the mistakes that rookies do make is you offer to let your customer have any color they could possibly imagine. It'll be much easier for you, especially at this point with the sponsors, if you make sure to offer them a wide variety of shirt colors, but the only ink color, make it just white or just black or, or one color that can just go on all of the different garment colors. Either way, though, the next step is to sort your sponsors by ink color. And then the last step, just like we talked about, first you're going to apply that league print, that East Bay soccer with the soccer ball. Then you're going to peel the paper, cut your strip of Mario's pizza off, give it that tilt that you see there. Or you don't even have to have tilted it like we sh we've shown you here. You could technically put it uh, tilted up at the top, or you could put it straight under the bottom. This example, we're just showing you how we've done Mario's pizza tilted underneath the design here. But uh, regardless. Um, then you cut your Mario's Pizza off, stick it where you want it, press it, and there you go. And again, that's the same thing we've done here on the East Bay Baseball order, uh, this design that's on the yellow underneath here. We started off with this design, the uh, uh, stitches that you see here, East Bay Baseball, and then Athletics. That was the design that was started with. They bought 500 of that design. Then for the sponsors, they simply did sponsored by Mario's Pizza. And then all the Mario's Pizza kids had that slapped on the bottom of their uh, garments. And then Revco Drugstore had a whole bunch of those, and so, so forth and so on. Now those sponsors that I've been talking about, here are the sponsor designs. Now these can be found on our website. They can be found in uh, um, different uh, uh, publications that we've put out. So it's not, not difficult to find these, but these are the sponsor sponsor sheets that I'm talking about. You can see that we offer different sizes, different layouts, different assortments of sponsor sheets, depending on your situation, because again, every league's going to be a little bit different. Um, in the example you heard me talk about just a moment ago, we were talking about one-inch sponsors, one-inch straight sponsors. You can see here that we've also got two-inch sponsors, uh, two-inch two-line sponsors, um, all, all sorts of different, uh, different ways to accommodate whatever you might be trying to do. Okay. Now these sponsor sheets are fantastic because they're good for putting a whole bunch of teams, a whole bunch of sponsors on one sheet of paper and not having to pay for multiple orders. 
Okay, that's that's sort of the idea. That's why we've done these sponsor sheets is to make it easier for you to get a whole bunch of teams worth of stuff and not have to pay for a whole bunch of orders worth of stuff. And as the uh, little notation says at the bottom of that screen, at the bottom of our slide here, just like the notation says, the whole idea is for you to organize these sponsors by color, size, and style. Uh, just to give you a little secret here, if you have multiple colors going on in your sponsors, it's going to get more difficult because then we have to organize them that way. You'd want all your black sponsors together and then all your white sponsors together because if you try to mix and match them, that's going to turn into a two-color transfer order and that drives your price up. So we organize your sponsors by color and style, get everything grouped together properly so we can uh, make it as cheap as possible for you. So let's talk about some other league tips, some other ways to uh, win those league orders. When the uniforms are delivered, create one of the flyers that we showed you earlier and we talked about a couple minutes ago. Create one of those flyers, but gear it towards the parents. Show the parents what different t-shirts and hoodies and sweatshirts, maybe even sweatpants or uh, boxer craft boxers, whatever you might offer, show the parents uh, what you can do for them. So use those sales flyers, but gear it towards the parents or towards the families. So when you deliver the uniforms, give those parents those flyers, and that's a whole other way for you to secure a whole bunch more orders. So now you've not only done the team uniforms, but you're doing the parents' spirit gear as well. Another way to win league orders is to advertise that you can do add-ons for each team. Now, we all know that it's inevitable that they will, the league will come to you at some point and say, oh my gosh, little Timmy just joined the baseball team and he needs a jersey. And then, of course, that's difficult for everybody usually because you, nobody wants to do one jersey for little Timmy. So uh, the best part about using transfers, though, is that we send you an extra transfer in every order. And we have you order at price breaks. So let's say you order at the 15-piece price break, but you've only got 13 kids on a team. That's fine. The 15-piece price break allows you to take those two extra pieces and set them aside. So when little Timmy does join the baseball team, you can quickly make a jersey for him, not charge the league an arm and a leg, charge them the same amount you did for the base jerseys, and then you look like a hero. So a fantastic way to win league business. And this is a great tip because every league at some point or another has generally dealt with this problem. The kid that joins at the last minute who needs a jersey and then the league has to pay out the nose for that one jersey extra after the fact. So a great way to endear yourself to the people in charge there. And then the last tip here, and this is a fantastic tip, I, I've actually seen our marketing director here at Transfer Express, I've actually seen her do this on a couple of occasions, um, individually package the player's uniform. If you're handling the whole uniform, then you know that it usually includes pants and a jersey and maybe a hat or maybe a visor, maybe it goes, maybe you've got a league that goes as far as to handle socks too, who knows, whatever the uniform is. Package that uniform, get all of it put together in a bag, slap your company's uh, sticker with your company's name like you see in the example here, slap that on the outside of that bag, but before you do that, include a flyer for your company, include just an advertisement on the spirit shirts maybe or, or what, whatever you might offer. Not only is that going to be great for the parents involved that you've individually packaged it, wrapped it, made it all look nice, but then that's some built-in advertising for you right there on the spot. And branch out a little bit. Maybe the flyers that you put into these bags can be family reunion flyers or festivals or company picnics because, again, all these parents at some point or another, who knows when they're going to need shirts. So another great way for you to get your name out there for you to handle the league in a way that you're going to endear yourself to the people, you're going to, they're going to want to come back to you. Um, just some, uh, some more great tips here. Uh, now, we have included, if, if you've watched any of my webinars in the past, no doubt you've heard me talk about split fronts a couple times. <laughs> um, we, we include this because this is one of the most asked questions this time of year, um, especially you know baseball season being around the corner and all. Um, how do you apply a split front jersey? If I had a dollar for every time we get this question here at Transfer Express, 
what we've done is we've come up with this step-by-step -step picturized version of how to handle a split front jersey. Now, I know that the 55 people watching this, if I were to ask each of you how you handle split fronts, I would probably get 55 different answers. There are far more than one way to skin a cat, is the saying, but um, there's more than one way to do a split front transfer. So. What I'm showing you here, what I'm going to describe to you here, this is how we recommend to do it here at Transfer Express. This is not the rule. This is not set in stone. But this is how we feel is easiest to handle these. And trust me when I say if I can do it, any of you can do this. Uh, step one is to have your transfer ready to go. Have your shirt um, buttoned up and laid on the platen, uh, buttons up, obviously. Um, it's best to find the middle of your transfer to find where that split's going to happen. Um, and I take that back, not, not the middle, because the split's not going to actually happen in the middle, generally off to the side a little bit. And that depends on the jersey that you're using. But regardless, you're going to find where the split is going to happen in your transfer, and you're going to cut that transfer. Okay. Um, again, step two, you're going to keep your jersey fully buttoned and on the platen. Uh, buttons facing up, you're going to need to turn your up just a little bit to compensate for those buttons. Step three, pre-press that jersey. Don't ever skip the pre-press process. You want to get all the moisture out so you don't have any issues with bubbling or cracking afterwards. Step four, position the two halves of the split front, uh, the two halves of the transfer on either side of the split, lining them up. Okay, You're going to line up the edge of the transfer with the split itself. Okay, and the grid lines on the back of the transfer, the grid lines will help you make sure to line up perfectly. After you've got those two halves lined up, you're going to press. Then step six, you're going to remove the right side only. Now the reason for this, guys, is the way the jersey is buttoned, that right side is sitting up just a little bit higher. And when you just pressed it, the right side got a good hit from the press, and the right side's ready to peel. The left side didn't, though. So you're going to peel the right side only. Then you're going to unbutton your jersey, and you're going to open it, leaving just the left side of the jersey on your platen. And you're going to press again for the left side, and then peel it. Last step, peel off the left side, and there you go. Split front jerseys. Now, I know this is a little bit complicated sounding, and I went through it a little fast. We've only got, uh, we've only got 45 minutes, unfortunately, so I'm trying to give you a bunch of information. But if this was a little too quick for you and you want to get a better look at these steps, you simply go out to our website, transferexpress.com, and at the search area at the very top of the page, you're going to type in split front, and it will zip you out to our blog where we have these exact picture steps one by one, showing you how to do these split front jerseys. So by all means, go to our blog, read it there too. Also, at the end of the webinar, I'm going to mention how you can get a PDF copy of these slides if you want to do it that way. But either way, um, we have these steps in a couple different places. Another hard to apply item, and this is sort of getting out of baseball and going over to soccer. Um, Soccer shorts can be a little bit rough to apply on sometimes because you've got the seams and the panels all over the place, especially like you see in the picture here. You've got uh, soccer shorts that are uh, not, e not simple shorts for, for any stretch of the imagination. Um, one of the best ways to press soccer shorts, or, or any shorts really, is to use a cap press. This is actually an ingenious idea. You use that curved surface of the cap press. It easily takes the, uh, the leg of your pair of shorts and it conforms to those shorts. It makes it much easier to press those shorts, as a matter of fact. This is actually a slick idea to use not just for shorts, but also for sh uh, sleeves, for shirt sleeves, to uh, um, put your sleeve over the, the uh, a cap press platen. So uh, very clever idea. Um, if you don't have a cap press to do this, it's still possible to do shorts. It's still easy. Uh, we do advise you go out and get a Print Perfect pad. Uh, those are sold as a heat press accessory by our parent company, Stalls ID Direct. Um, print Perfect pads can be used to put up inside of a pair of shorts to uh, compensate for the seam problem up in there. But um, Again, best idea, if you've got that cap press sitting around that you don't use very often, maybe you don't do a lot of hats, 
this is another great way to use a cat press. Numbers. Now, this is something that everybody needs, uh, no matter what sport we're talking about, whether it be baseball or soccer or whatever. Uh, numbers are something that all of those leagues are going to need at some point or another for something or another. Um, the numbers that we offer here at Transfer Express, number one, they're easy to apply. Uh, I'm sure everybody has heard of our goof-proof transfers, and we, we really do call them goof-proof for a reason. You have to make an effort to goof them up. Um, they're easy to apply uh, 365 degrees on your Hotronics heat press for four seconds. It's real quick application. The cost is low, and again, the cost is going to depend on the size numbers that you choose, 4, 6, 8, or 10 inch, and then what uh, colors you choose, whether it's one color or two color. But numbers can be incredibly cheap. Our, our numbers are, are uh, pennies per digit, so uh, our numbers are quite cheap, and we offer nine different styles, 50 different color combinations. So uh, when it comes to numbers, we have you covered, um, and if by some stretch, our stock numbers that we have, the uh, ones that we have uh, just ready to go, if they're not what you're looking for, if you have a league that's looking for something different, maybe they're looking to jazz it up this year a little bit, you can order uh, custom numbers from us. Now, custom numbers can be a little bit more expensive, and our dealer services reps would be more than happy to talk to you about your custom number opportunities, but they can be very, very cost effective if you're ordering a whole league of custom numbers. Not an individual team, but a whole league. So uh, we would definitely encourage you to contact our customer service department and our dealer services reps to uh, talk about uh, your custom number opportunities there, too, if uh, that's what your league is looking for. And another great way to advertise to these leagues, or even just to show them what you do, um, in the example here, you're looking at the Plymouth Devils logo now. The Plymouth Devils, this is their baseball logo. Uh, high school, let's say, they did their um, baseball team's logo with transfers. Now, you can take that logo and you can order that same logo from us in a whole myriad of different non-apparel products. For example, helmet stickers. If you're doing their baseball jerseys, aren't they going to need helmets? So simply order the helmet stickers from us as well for you so it's easy for us to take that artwork then and parlay it into our helmet sticker product banners are another fantastic uh, another fantastic way to use this logo and we've done a lot of these banners actually uh, as of late um, you simply again we've already done your transfer logo for the Plymouth Devils we can take that artwork we can apply it to a banner maybe with the team names and the sponsors around it. Uh, banners are great for hanging at stadiums. Uh, if your local high school has a stadium, or maybe not even the stadium, maybe just outside the high school, maybe uh, different places around the community, or maybe inside the high school. Regardless, banners, you can always find some place, somewhere, something to do with banners. Window decals are really popular right now, too. I'm sure we've all been driving down the road and seen uh, mom's... Uh, Mom's uh, uh, soccer mobile, <laughs> the soccer minivans in front of us that have the different little uh, stickers on the back window. That's what our window decals are. Now, in the example here, we've just taken the Plymouth Devils and we've done a window decal of the Plymouth Devils logo, but um, it could go a step further than that. Uh, there could be more customizable team things you do with those window decals. But regardless, the point is, we've done your artwork for the jersey. We can take that artwork and we can apply it to window decal. The last example on this slide is actually wall graphics. Uh, I'm sure we've all heard of fat heads. We've all heard of the uh, wall graphics that are uh, uh, you can apply onto a wall, and then you can remove them, peel them off, and reposition them. They don't ever mark up the wall. They don't ever leave adhesive. They last a long, long time. And they're made of this uh, slick fabric, actually. It's a really neat fabric adhesive that they're made out of. Um, these are perfect for, like you can see here, this is the computer lab of the Plymouth High School. They've slapped their logo up on the computer lab wall. Uh, you could put it in the locker room. It could be for the football players. It could be these wall graphics. You can make them large, and you can put them anywhere. So another fantastic way for you to show your customer that not only are they ordering transfers from you, uh, baseball transfers, let's say, but they can do all these other things through you as well. Okay, guys, in conclusion here, 
PDF of all the slides you've seen today will be available on greatgarmentgraphics.com. So if any of you needed to get a better look at those that we've talked about, uh, I would encourage you to download the PDF of the slides. This uh, webinar will also be recorded, uh, it's being recorded rather, and it will be on the Great Garment Graphics website. So in case you need any of the information again, I know we sort of had some technical difficulties at the beginning and started a couple minutes late. Um, make sure to check out our blog too at transferexpress.com. Our marketing department is always putting crazy stuff up there, neat ideas, neat concepts. Um, they do kick their butts uh, on a daily basis to get great information out there, so do check our blog. Um, and uh, lastly, uh, everybody please make sure to come back on March 20th. There's going to be another Great Garment Graphics webinar for best bling for your buck. It's going to be an on-demand presentation. It's actually not going to be a live webinar. It's going to be pre-recorded, and it will be available at 8 a.m. on March 20th. Um, and please do join me, Andy. I will be back with you guys on April 12th for our next webinar here at Transfer Express for Fashion Frenzy 2012. Um, I'm actually looking forward to that one. That should be a lot of fun. And uh, if I did not get to any questions today, if I did not answer something you were curious if there was something that I missed, please feel free to ask. Um, uh, Jody, if you're there, are there any questions we can take right off the bat? I do not see any questions yet. None have come in, actually. Okay. Okay. No, that's, hey, that's a good thing. Um, if anybody has any questions, if you've come up with anything since I've been talking, please feel free to email us, info at transferexpress.com. We'll be more than happy to get back to you. Also, please do give us a call uh, at Transfer Express. Our dealer services team is more than happy to assist you with any questions you might have. Okay, everybody. Well, thank you for joining me today. Thank you for sticking with us through our uh, technical difficulties there. And um, I appreciate your attendance, and we look forward to seeing you again at another Great Garment Graphics webinar.